자, 우리 이제 리딩 part 합시다. 안녕하세요. 저는 앤디예요. 미국 사람이에요. Oh, quite simple short sentences. Hello, I am Andy. I am American person. 만나서 반가워요. So we usually just memorize this expression, isn't it? 만나서 반가워요. Now, we can analyze it. So this short sentence consists of two clauses, isn't it? Uh, glad, I'm glad, because 아서, 어서, 해서 Because I meet you. Nice to meet you. 제 고향은 샌프란시스코예요. 자, 고향 뭐예요? 고향? Hometown, isn't it? So, my hometown is San Francisco. San Francisco는 미국에서 제일 아름다운 도시라서 많은 사람들이 여행을 와요. I'm going to divide it into two clauses. So, this sentence can be divided in many ways, isn't it? First of all, you can, um, you can divide it here. 아서, 어서, 해서. In this case, n, 이, 라서. This is a separate grammar point. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, um, please um, study yourself. But it's basically um, same with 아서, 어서, 해서. Just simply, simply when uh, we use it when it's a noun here. So you can either uh, divide it here uh, based on this also, 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 or in this case, I think this is a better idea. So this reason bit is embedded sentence. So in this whole sentence, subject is 많은 사람들이 여행을, 아, 이거, 어. 여행을 is object, 와요 is a verb. 자, 그래서 this is a topic. Uh, let's say topic. So many people come, travel in San Francisco, for San Francisco. And then embedded sentence gives you the reason. Because 제일 아름다운 도시라서 This is whole uh, noun phrase. Mm. Because it is the most beautiful city in America. 저는 대학교에서 동아시아 학을 전공해요. This is object. This is verb. 대학교에서. This is subject. I major what? East Asian studies. 자, 동, Sino Korean, East. We know Asia. 그리고 학 means study, Sino Korean. 대학교에서 2년 동안 한국어를 공부했지만, 아직 잘 못해요. I'm going to divide it into two. Where? Here. Uh, based on this 지만. What does it mean? But. The main clause is this one. I'm not good at it yet. I'm not good at it yet. 자, 대학교에서 2년 동안 한국어를 공부했지만 There's no subject, but a hidden subject will be I, isn't it? I studied Korean for two years at the university, but I'm not good at it yet. 그래서 한국어를 공부하러 한국에 왔어요. I'm going to divide it into two clauses. Where? Here. And where's the main clause? Every time, all the time, most of the time, the last clause is, last clause is the main clause. 저는 한국에 왔어요. I came to Korea. Why? 자, 하러, in order to study. In order to study what? Korean. 자, 그래서 is conjunction, isn't it? Thus, therefore, so. 제 취미는 운동이에요. My hobby is... Uh, okay, let me... My hobby, 아이고, is exercise. 저는 시간이 있을 때 테니스를 치거나 농구를 해요. Embedded clause 찾아 봅시다. Embedded clause, I would say here. 
So the other one is main clause. 저는 테니스를 치거나 농구를 해요. 자, 거나 있네요. 거나. When do we use 거나? Verb 거나, verb, which means verb or verb. So basically, these two, 테니스를 치다 and 농구를 하다, these two are uh, two phrases linked by 거나. I play tennis or play basketball. When? 시간이? 있을 때, 자, this is a separate grammar point, isn't it? Uh, 을, when a verb, ing. Uh, when I've got a time. Uh, when having time. 미국에서 태, 태권도를 배워서 태권도도 조금 할줄 알아요. I'm going to cut it into two. Where? Here. 좋아요. Main clause 먼저. 태권도도 조금 할줄 알아요. Let's treat it as a whole verb. I know how to a little. What? 태권도. But this is not only one he know how to he knows how to do, isn't it? 태권도도 uh, uh, as well. Uh, I can I know how to do 태권도 as well. Why? This is a reason because I learned Taekwondo in America. 그런데 요즘은 시간이 없어서 운동하지 못해요. Divided into two. Where? Here. Hidden subject? I. 자, 운동하지 못해요. We already know this grammar point, isn't it? 뭐뭐, verb, 지, 않다. 자, here. Uh, verb, 지, 못하다. Which is equivalent to basically there are a neg negation, isn't it? An mut verb. They're basically the same equivalent. These same. I can't. Muteo uh, means incapability, isn't it? I can't exercise because I don't have any time these days. 그런데 is another conjunction, however, but, nevertheless. 하지만 이제부터 태권도를 다시 시작하려고 해요. No subject, 다시 시작하려고 해요 is a verb. 태권도를 is an object, isn't it? 음. 어, 아, 자, 으려고 하다 뭡니까? 으려고 하다. 으려고 하다. 으려고 하다. Be uh, trying to, planning to. I am going to, I'm planning to start again, what? 태권도. From now on. 자, 하지만 is also, however, basically the same. 저는 지금 신촌 하숙집에서 살아요. I live at where? 신촌 하숙집. This is a location now. 자, 하숙집 뭡니까? Boarding house. Boarding house. This is Korean particular way of living as a university student or high school high school students, okay? So the the uh, landlord provides you meals and laundry service. Basically, mother-like services are all included. And where is it? 신촌. 하숙집이 학교에서 가까워서 편해요. I'm going to divide it into two. Where? Here. So main clause is 편해요. It is comfortable. Something is comfortable. Or it can be I feel comfortable. Why? Because 하숙집이 the house, the boarding house is close. From where? From 학교에서. From school. 그리고 이 하숙집에는 우리 학교 학생들도 세명 같이 살아요. 자, where is the subject? I would say 우리 학교 학생들도 subject. 같이 살아요. Live together. So this is additional information. 세 uh, 명. 
Our school students as well live together. Where? At this boarding house. And how many are they? 세 명. 자, 그리고 있네요. 그리고 뭐예요? And 모두 친절하고 좋은 친구들이에요. 자, where's the subject? Subject 없어요. Do we have any object? Object 없어요. We only have this verb and a compliment. Basically, it means they are, they are friends. What friends? 친절하고 좋은 modifies friends. Mm. So, so these uh, 친절하다 plus 좋다. They are nice and good friends. We can see this as a subject or adverb. Mm. They are all... All are good friends or they are all good friends. 이 친구들과 같이 살수 있어서 참 좋아요. Where is the main clause? 참 좋아요. This is the main clause. I feel really good. Why? Why? Because hidden subject I can live together with these friends. Mm. 살수 있다 있네요. 음, 을수 있다. You can. 저는 한국에서 1년 동안 한국어와 한국 문화를 공부할 거예요. 자, subject, I, verb, 공부할 거예요. What, object, 한국어와 한국 문화를. This is an. 한국어 and uh, Korean language and Korean culture. He will study. How long? For one year. Where? In Korea. 또 한국 친구들도 많이 사귀고 싶어요. 자, base form 사귀다 있네요. 사귀, 사귀다 means to build, an, build a relationship. Make friends. To make friends or uh, build um, relationship. Any type of relationship. 한국 친구들도 많이 사귀고 싶어요. I want to make so many Korean friends. 자, I would say this is an object because he says do here but uh, it's uh, exchangeable with 한국 친구들을 또 뭡니까? 또 again in addition. Furthermore. 좋습니다. Let's move on. 자, true or false question 합시다. 1번. 앤디 씨가 샌프란시스코에 여행을 가 봤어요. 자, 가 봤어요. 가다 플러스 아 보다. What does it mean? He tried going, traveling to where? 샌프란시스코. 앤디 씨가 샌프란시스코에 여행을 가 봤어요. Actually not, isn't it? What did he say? 제 고향이 San Francisco예요. So his hometown, he was born there. 그래서 this is false. 2번, 앤디 씨는 한국어를 할줄 몰라요. He doesn't know how to speak Korean. Is it true? 자, here's the answer. 대학교에서 2년 동안 한국어를 공부했지만 아직 잘 못해요. He studied Korean for two years at the university, but he can't do it well. This is important. He cannot do it well. It doesn't mean he cannot do at all, isn't it? 자, 그래서 한국어를 할줄 몰라요? 아니에요. He does know how to do a little bit, but not well. 3번, 앤디 씨는 요즘 운동을 많이 해요. 앤디 does a lot exercises recently. Is it true? 자, he says, 요즘은 recently there is no time, so I can't exercise. 운동하지 못해요. So this is also false. 4번, 앤디 씨 하숙집이 학교에서 가까워서 편해요. So Andy's boarding school is comfortable, easy. Why? Because it is close. 
학교에서. 어, it is close to from school. It is close from school. 맞나요? 하숙집이 편해요. Why? 가까워서. Uh, because it is close from school. 그래서 맞아요. This is true. 앤디 씨는 한국에서 1년 동안 한국어를 공부할 거예요. He will study Korean for one year in Korea. Is it true? 저는 한국에서 1년 동안 한국어와 한국 문화를 공부할 거예요. So it is true. 좋습니다. This is true. 자, 나번 갈까요? 나번? 1번. 앤디 씨 고향이 어떤 곳이에요? 자, 앤디 씨 고향이 어떤 곳이에요? The question asks what? The question doesn't ask where is Andy's hometown, isn't it? What kind of place? is Andy's hometown. So it wants some description of the hometown. So you can actually copy this. San Francisco예요. San Francisco는 미국에서 제일 아름다운 도시라서 많은 사람들이 여행을 와요. This is answer for number two. Number one. 2번. Andy 씨가 왜 한국에 왔어요? Why did he come? 왜 왔어요? Here. 한국어를 공부하러 한국에 왔어요. You can copy this for number two. 3번, 앤디 씨 취미가 뭐예요? What is his uh, hobby? 취미가 뭐예요? He says, 제 취미는 운동이에요. What kind of 운동이에요? 무슨 운동해요? 테니스를 치거나 농구를 해요. 태권도도 조금 할줄 알아요. So these are the answer for number three. 자, 4번 갑시다. 앤디 씨 하숙집이 어때요? It needs description. How is his boarding house? 어때요? 하숙집이, 아이고 아이고. 하숙집이 학교에서 가까워서 편해요. It needs description. 편해요. I think it's enough for the uh, number four. 5번, 앤디 씨 계획을 말해보세요. 자, 계획 뭡니까? Planning, plan, isn't it? Please let me know, please tell Andy's plan. Andy's plan 뭡니까? 어, 앤디는 한국에서 1년 동안 한국어와 한국 문화를 공부할 거예요. 그리고 한국 친구들도 많이 사귈 거예요. 그래서 this will be the answer for number 5. Done. 좋습니다. 아주 수고하셨습니다. 감사합니다.